Hello Libra, welcome back. So this week I'm doing specifically love readings for all the zodiacs. I had a request, a few requests, so I've decided to accommodate them. Yeah, and so for those of you that are new, I don't do two date and time specific. It's just very human. We're working with spirits and energies. Okay, they don't play the same way. So take what resonates. This is a general reading. So if it doesn't resonate for you, check the other signs in your chart and watch one of those videos. Or you can book a personal reading with me. A link to my website is in the description box below. During the reading, feel free to flop the energies of the players in the game. So cross watcher looking in on a Libra, I could be talking to you specifically. Okay? Only you will know what resonates. I picked a spirit animal card for you and for who you're dealing with, and two of them came up for you. You got the red squirrel and Gaia. This is a beautiful energy. This is a very um, worldly energy, but it also has a level of groundedness to it. You could be coming into abundance. I'm, I'm feeling that very strongly. I feel like Libra has been working hard, and, and in fact, I feel as if that Libra is mainly focusing on themselves and what they're creating, their creation, what their place is in, in the universe, finding balance. You know, see, the squirrel is just very focused on its, the nut here. It's focused on what it has to do, its tasks at hand. This is a very logical energy. But at the same time, I feel like you're using your intuition to delegate things. And I think that also you're using your intuition when it comes to relationships in your life and who you're dealing with, you see them very clearly, regardless of whether or not they want you to. And who you're dealing with is the golden orb spider. I actually really love this card. I think it's, it's beautiful. Um, the web is very intricately weaved. Golden Orb Spider weaves a very strong web. However, I'm picking up the energy so much so, <sighs> Some, I feel like this spider, your person that you're dealing with, they have dug themselves, it's like dug themselves a hole. They've had to weave such a web of lies, maybe in the past, or they could still be doing this, but I feel like maybe, in the past that they did when dealing with you they were almost I'm getting the words arrogant in how they treated you and how they dealt with you and you valued them a lot I, I feel like in that moment but now now there's been illumination to all this this web this web is glowing so all the lies everything that this spider has done is apparent to you now you see them very clearly and i think that's why you're focusing on other things you're focusing on yourself you're focusing on your abundance you're focusing on what you need to get done something could have ended between you guys too this could be somebody that you're not actually i mean their energy is still around but there was an ending that came to it see you don't even care anymore what this person is doing. At one point, they may have been your world. At one point, you maybe couldn't have seen life without them. But now you've reached this grounded level to where you know that life does go on and that you have other things to do. And if they're gonna to continue to be a web weaver, it's something about their spine is, is sticking out to me as well. It's almost like, it's almost like I'm getting spineless specifically. The word spineless is coming into my mind. Now the spider is a very strong creature, don't get me wrong. So this, this isn't a weak person, but maybe in the way they handled you, it was spineless. <laughs> I don't know. It's like they didn't have the, they couldn't face themselves and what they had done, even though they were very well aware of the weave that they were, or the web that they were weaving. You know? They could have treated you like a predator, like they were a predator, 
that have felt preyed on by them. And that's why you're no longer, you know, you're you're coming into this abundance. You're focusing on what's going to create stability for you. You have no more time for this, whatever this is, this, um, the word in the sky keeps coming to my mind, like, like there was a lot of talk a lot of ideas but not a lot of delegation of anything really that solid it was just weaving and weaving and weaving and it just became sticky this situation was sticky with with you and them and so I think you closed it out yeah and moving on down here I see it again I feel like there was something where there could have been a lot of fighting or maybe there was a lot of work that you put into something but somebody was hiding things they had secrets they were being sneaky, they were deceiving, and um, there could have even been another person involved that was hidden in some sort of way. But you had an awakening, you saw it, you know, you could have been waiting around and dealing with this person for a long time, but there is this element of that you have kind of accepted the lack of offer that is coming in that you want from them. There could be no, I feel like there's no communication right now because somebody didn't make a choice or didn't give an offer or made the wrong choice. But I feel more like somebody kind of was refusing to make a choice, refusing to give Libra any type of stable offer. Uh, okay. So I am getting, and I don't know why, after I said that, they said that he, he couldn't. Um, this could be he or she, but they said he couldn't specifically. So perhaps there was something going on where this person was unable to give you an offer. But regardless, you're setting yourself free from that. You, you're kind of seeing, seeing it for what it is at this point. And you, you're done. It's like you're not going to wait for the stability of this. You're not going to wait for their offer anymore. You're making a choice to set yourself free. And they could be viewing you as unattainable right now, out of reach. I also feel like... They were very disappointed. Whatever this was ended, but they may be trying to come around and resurrect it again. However, you, you've released yourself, so I don't know how well it'll go for them. I have um, air, earth, and fire here, pretty strong. So you were very unhappy there's just, you know, if this was a marriage or whatever kind of relationship this was, you were unhappy with it. It just didn't turn out the way you wanted and it resulted in you being single, maybe even them as well. However, predominantly you, I see, I see very much you choosing to love yourself and stand in your own power and be a businessman or a businesswoman. The King of Wands is very, very strong, very charismatic. He has knowledge, but also the, the drive to delegate things and to do it in a charming way that everybody likes to work with him. You could also be dealing with a fire sign, but again, there's not really any communication coming in right now. <sighs> Somebody could have had a lot of options, but no longer do they they could have been juggling or had a lot of options or maybe they were just kind of one of those people that's very fickle on what to choose. I don't know who to choose. I don't know what I want. I don't know. Do I want to be single? Do I want to be in a relationship? I don't know. Well, whoever it was that took a long time to choose, boy, they lost out because no longer is anybody waiting. And I feel like it's you that's not waiting anymore, but it could be flipped. This was a soulmate though. And at one point... They were, they're coming up as your elemental match, which is a bit of a shame, right in between the two of cups here. But you may be happier being single for now, because there's just, um, there's just a lot of, I don't know. I 
I don't know. There was like an injustice done to you that left you un- imbalanced. And I think that you are finally coming to terms with being by yourself and liking to be by yourself. There could be communication coming in from this person. Earth, fire, energy again. Maybe communication in regards to their behavior in the past. But I, I'm really getting that they were non-committal. They were very kind of like all over the place. Even though you guys were compatible and there is soulmate energy here, I'm just not sure that they've changed. Not because they don't want to change. They want to give you a solid offer. I see that. And I see they're going to try. But there's some people that just have a fear of commitment. And it's extremely hard to overcome that. And it's why you guys ended. Whoever was afraid to commit or who was cheating or just not completely in it, difficult. They could have been extremely explosive as well with their words you know one minute they're stable the next they're exploding on you out of nowhere and you're like wow okay okay you know and I see you essentially I feel like work you may have be starting a new job or there could be some sort of step up opportunity for you which would require a lot of work okay and and whoever you're working with is difficult they have high expectations it is literally their way or the highway but you there is wish fulfillment to this i'm seeing because you will be working hard in this new beginning it can bring you a lot of abundance on your own i essentially feel like libra you if you are single right now you're going to continue to be at the moment. There is passion. I do feel like you you ha- are going to have some offers. There could be also an air sign that might be coming towards you or you going towards them. But there's something about them that's not very... I don't know, stuck in their ways, or maybe you're stuck in your ways, but I feel like it's this other person. I do feel, though, that whatever it is that you want, you're going to get it, essentially. And I think what you want is just abundance in yourself right now. But you do expect some communication to come from this soulmate because, you know, they, they want to come back in your life. But you might be too busy for it right now, which essentially could be a good thing. They can work for it, you know? Yeah, because uh, things are looking pretty pretty good on the job front, on you, how people view you, how you feel about yourself. I just feel like it's, it's going the right direction. So continue to stay independent, stay single. If you are seeing someone, just keep, hold on to that independence very much so you will be happier that way for now okay well we're going to close this off um but first i'm going to ask how your person views you how does libra's person in love see them how does libra's person in love see them How does Libra's person in love see them? One more card, please. For how does Libra's person view Libra in love? Wow. Okay. Well, they, they, it's, they feel like it's not over. So they they see you as somebody that they could have a happy home and marriage life with to be honest it's like you have the potential to be their empress or emperor but there's no forward movement on it you know it's kind of it's kind of like stagnant 
but they do they see and they're unhappy without you they're unhappy now that they can't have you because they see your abundance they see what you are they see how hard you're working and they see the changes also some of them may be interested in your finances for those of you that are starting to make good money they see that abundance the abundance and they want that stability So they're, they're missing you. Even though they haven't been doing anything about it. And if they have, you haven't been having it. <laughs> so, all right. Well, that's what I have for you this week, Libra.